There we go. Welcome back, guys. New world. Um, I have a level 50. We're not going to play on the level 50. We're going to start from level 1, just grind. And, uh, you know, see what level we get to to the series ends. Ah, uh, perfect. Perfect right off the start. Um, usually I'd customize the guy to just look absolutely stupid. But... Uh, male or female? kind of want to go with female and just, like... Give it a stupid haircut. I don't know, that, that's fucking great, to be honest. Might just roll with that. Lamb chops and the reverse bowl cut. Nothing can go wrong with this character. Name your character. This is the hardest part. Just name him Para. See if that works. Dang. I'm gonna have to think actually about this name because it like new world names they can actually be funny but I'm not sure if I want a funny name or if I just want a normal casual name and there we go long dong don of course the perfect name how do you not have <laughs> how do you not have a long dong with that haircut and we can't skip this also let me know if it looks shitty um, last time I recorded New World, it was like, I, I couldn't do it. I had to downscale to 720. But now that there's some optimization, it might be a little bit better. So we'll see. <sighs> Alright. Let's seize everything down on the lowest settings. Visuals slow. Perfect. Og. The amount of times I have actually blocked in this game is just none. Just always dodging. There we go. Now we talk to this guy. I'm just gonna go through all the voice lines. Maybe I'll... Maybe at some point I'll actually listen to it, but... This is the third time I've run the tutorial too, not counting the beta, of course. So, so far I've been having a lot of fun on New World. Uh, so much fun I'm actually, you know, re-rolling another character. Didn't really just want to start the series on a level 50, because that seems... I don't know. Just seems wrong, I suppose. I'd rather go from level 1, hopefully attempt to hit level 60 and then see what we can do max level, but... I will be streaming this as, as well too. Mainly, this is going to be the YouTube stream character for New World, and then I'll just have, like, the for fun New World character, which is just my main character, but... This guy should catch up pretty fast. Uh, especially since I know, like, for the most part, what to do now, leveling-wise, and what is the fastest. So, it should be fun. There still is a lot of stuff in New World I don't have a clue as to what it does. I'm going to turn the sound up just a little bit. Ooh, purchase upgrades. Hell yeah, dude. I'm kind of tempted to go tank, to be honest. Settings. Audio. Uh, there we go. God, he's so... So beautiful. <laughs> he's so fucking ugly. The Long Dong Don. Oh wait, no, it's just Long Dong Don. Cool. Good game. Alright. Go get him. This, like, I wouldn't even say this is a boss, but it is a boss at level 45. I'll say that. Cool. There, okay, there he is. I'm not even gonna follow the mechanics, I'm just gonna. Yep, there we go. 
Then he blasts me. See what we end up in, because there is four starting zones. Windsward is my preferred favorite, because that's the one I started in previously on my main character. Um, I really don't want to be in the pirate area down south. Did we get the pirate area down south? Everfall. Not too bad. I guess Everfall is right next to Windward, but there's really no resources in Everfall. Looks like I'll go green here, too. I'll explain the territories and factions a little bit more once we get to it, but... My main character, I am purple. This character, I'll probably go green. Because... The purples, from my experience... They're, uh... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're unique. They're unique, to say... Th Say the say for sure. Okay. Give me those boots. Fucking bare feet, McGee over here. So here's the thing: we collect some flint because we're gonna have to make tools, and then we're gonna have to pretty much harvest stones too. I don't know what your plan here is. Maybe he thinks I'm PVP flanked. Aren't you jealous of the long dong? He definitely is. Can he type? I told you guys, purple purple are a special breed. Sometimes they sometimes they type, sometimes they don't. Little does he know we're going to be higher level than him in literally two sittings. It's been so long since I've used sword and shield. I'm also kind of tempted to play healer. Or at least go like mage kind of build. I don't know, mage build might be fun. Because on my main I'm... What am I? I'm, I'm, I'm musket and rapier and spear. So if I go like a mage build, I'd go Ice Gauntlet, Fire Staff. And then I could... I don't want to say I could heal. I don't know. I've never gone like any mage play style, so that's kind of why I'm tempted to do it on this guy. It's for a new experience, but... Like, I know the dexterity build and everything. I don't want to stray from what I know. Hello, where am I going? Gather wood from a bush. Where the bush is at? There they are. Forgot all of these introductory quest lines are just... They're, they're really simple, but man, are they repetitive. And I make a skinning knife. I turn in the quest. He tells me to equip it. Go skin a boar, I'm fairly certain, yeah. So let's kind of talk about gathering now that we do see actual herbs. Um, I'd say 95% of this game is gathering, to be honest. It's a lot of gathering. Not that that's a bad thing, it's kind of like... The best way I could describe this game, if you've played other games before, is RuneScape mixed with ESO, mixed with Valheim and Minecraft, kind of. And the fact that it's a lot of gathering. Uh, there's factions. Oh no, sickle, that's awkward. Let's go make one. But yeah, lots of gathering. I like it. My gathering on my main character is pretty high level. Um, except on the main character, I actively like just try and level. Only gathering for a little bit, and I kind of regret it. Because it seems like a waste of time now. We'll see what happens on this server. We'll see what we do. And we equip all of these. Craft a light ration for food. Craft two of them, because why not? Oh, mm, that smells delicious. Nice haircut, to be honest. Alright, where am I going? 
Let's talk about herbs. These herbs specifically, they always give you one type of herb, and then the second type of herb that has a chance to give you is dependent on zone. So if I picked this purple flower in, I don't know, Monarchs, I'd have a chance to get, like, a certain spice, such as ginger or something. And then this one just spawns on every, I guess, territory is what they're technically called. Spawns everywhere, but depending on the territory, it'll give you either, like right there, basil, or it'll give you thyme or garlic or peppercorn. And this is just off the top of my head. Like, it actually gives you these ingredients for cooking. But yeah, lots of XP from gathering, too. It's definitely a good part of the game. It's also going to be super interesting to see, like, played time on this guy. And just how fast I can do things. Because at least on the main character, I lost track of time just a little bit. But on this guy, it's going to be a lot easier to track that. So let's get into streaming this. Or oh, I just want to talk about it. Streaming this, my GPU shits itself. My GPU is not the best right now. Um, I remember streaming this when it was beta. And this might have just been, oh, it's beta. Like, it might have just been because it's beta. Like, that I was lagging so much. But when I was trying to stream this in 1080, whenever beta was out, my computer, I'd get like 40 frames maybe. And that's why I have the FPS up at the top. Let me know if you guys want me to turn that FPS tracker off. By the way, if it bugs some of you, but it helps me out for recording to know if, like, my frames aren't at 60 and what the response time is and all that, but I do want to stream this, but the limiting factor is pretty much my hardware, and if I can even stream it at the correct frames. I'm so, like, I, I really should have added that level 19 that was shit-talking me. So once we go green, we can just destroy that guy. Chest, my god. So one of the cool things about this game is at least provision chests. Um, they're worth just a lot of money. No matter the level 2, fire staff will actually level that. This will be the deciding factor. Will I will I play mage? It's kind of tempting. I don't know. I'd I'd have to go like intelligence, constitution. I don't know. We could we could try it. I feel like I'll just be super squishy though. But whatever. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. First time trying staff. Normally I would try, like, differing playstyles a little bit more, but I, I remember why. I have to aim, and I fucking suck at aiming. Ah, uh, Pog, dude. Fucking <laughs> got his ass. Don't really know how mana works. I'm assuming it'll come back somewhat fast, but yeah, it's not too bad. Already at full mana. I'm not sure how it'll work in combat, though. That's the concerning part. Yeah, I'm really not sure how well <laughs> this will work at max level. Or in PvP. The only reason I'm, I want to go Fire and Ice is because I have it on my main. And it seems pretty fun. And the burst on it's just pretty ridiculous too. I mean, I've, I've gotten wrecked by... Mana Caster. That's what I'm going to call them, by the way. I've gotten wrecked by Fire Staff once in PvP. Alright. Retreats mid-combat. Probably should have gone on that boat back there. Stop running. There we go. Fire Staff level 2. Let's see what we get. Iromancer or Fire Mage. Targeted spell that deals damage, Meteor Shower. Another thing I've noticed about the magic trees is usually it's just, I'm pretty sure, let's, let's just take a look. Maybe they just look different. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Maybe I was wrong. Never mind.
five mana per second. Oh, well, there's a respawn. Uh, let's try this, because we can just respec. Oh, that <laughs> seems kind of bad. That was underwhelming. Let's hit him with it again, dude. It's like the reverse fire extinguisher. How long does this go for? It just goes, okay. It goes forever then, huh? Cost five mana per second. Alright. I'm respecting already. Earliest I've respect. Oh. Hmm. I think I do like that one a little bit more. Really don't like how the other one essentially crippled me. It made me super slow. One thing I am worried about is just running out of mana. Maybe I'll be one of the only people that uses mana potions. But then I just go mana starved. I kinda wish they made it so just auto attacking didn't cost mana. Grab this spicy herb real quick. Of course. There we go, dude. Harvesting level 6. I think I missed. I sure did. This guy just bugs. He, he just doesn't give a shit. Alright. Mana starved. Meteor Shower Channel is spelled at Rains and Meteors for 34 initial impact, 20%. Cost 5 mana per second, 30 total mana at full cast. I, I guess. <laughs> I, like, like I said, I've never gone caster, so I barely know what I'm doing ability wise. And I could, like, I think the thing is you can change specs. You can change specs at a lower level pretty easily. So I'm not too scared about the class commitment or anything. Fiending for those provision crates, because they, they honestly are so much gold. Easily the thing that goes for the most gold on my main server is just food. For some reason, even though like the actual cooked foods don't sell for jack shit, they literally sell for one cent. But the, the raw food's just worth a lot. Don't know why. Should be a chest around here too. Hello. You just bombed yourself. Let's see. Eh, that doesn't seem too great. That meteor one? I don't know. It could be good for dungeons or something, but... There's one thing for sure. It's that spellcasters always just... They always just have, like, the coolest looking abilities. Ooh. I need it. And eventually we'll be mining rocks and other stuff, but... Right now, it's just herbs. I think maybe at some point, hemp will show up. Maybe. Hopefully. There we go. We actually got stuff. Hmm. Cloth dress? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> now I'm looking like the long dong don, dude. Looking the part. I know this game was made in 2021 because they give you the choice of wearing a dress or an actual shirt. Did I miss something? Oh, I did. Don't worry, we're just pulling these guys through. It's all part of the plan. 
There's my cooldown. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit tedious. God, the aiming is so weird. It is improved, though. The aiming during beta was fucking god-awful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just running into the boat. I see more herbs over there. But is it worth it? Alright. On the way back. Just kidding, we're gonna get this supply chest. I guess the nice thing about being super low level is like, low levels you can really just test out whatever builds you want. My aim is so trash sometimes. Come on. Come on, pirate guy. There we go. Now we look for more herbs while we run back. Originally, the first character I started started in uh, Windsward. So this is going to be a little bit different, but I have done most of the quests here on my main character anyway. We might get Gathering level 10 from this too. I really wish I was exaggerating how much money all of these herbs give. Or at least, like, not the hyssop, but, like, when you get the actual secondary chance of a random herb, they're worth so much. God, we're gonna be rich. Notice how, how much faster the harvesting is already. Just because of the ten levels I've gotten, I think. And for some reason, the starting zones always have a lot of these herbs. Even in Windsward, and I made the first character, there was a lot of these. So I secretly think it's the best spot, because no one's in starting zones anymore. But we'll see. We'll see as time goes on. Ever since I started playing New World, I've kind of had the, the weird craving to just, like, level on multiple MMOs, and that's like the inspiration behind uh, at least the WoW leveling, of which I'm going to do. This got me into the leveling mood. So it sounds weird, but I, do, I want to do a leveling series on retail, leveling series on TBC, just to like to compare the two, and then I, I also want to do one on a, a private server of some sort, and I'm not sure if that's going to be Ascension or like a more retail slash Blizzard like server or something like that. Then there's always a chance, hey, I, I might get in trouble for just playing a private server, but we'll see. Berries, dude. Snozberries. I need these. You know, our bag's gonna be full, too. That's, like, the one thing I'm not excited for whatsoever. On my main character, I have... I'm pretty sure it's 1,100 bag space. On this guy, I have 200. So, it's gonna... It's gonna suck for a little bit. I think I get a bag at level... I think it's 15. Could be wrong. Not being so damn mobile. God dang pig. Gotta take a harvesting break real quick. Almost harvesting level 20 already. So we do have hemp unlocked, but I don't think we'll find it in this area. Um, there's like a giant hemp farm I'll probably do in Windsward eventually. And I, I sadly just know the area, just from memory. <laughs> but at one point we'll do that. So far, pretty good on this guy. 
treated wood bow. Cool, dude. No problem. All right. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll probably finish up the starting area, make our way towards town, and likely declare a faction. Definitely going to go green. Definitely going to go green. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Expect, uh, you know, retail WoW stuff. Classic WoW stuff. Maybe private server stuff. I don't know. And New World stuff. I'm excited to level this guy to max level, man. It's going to be an adventure. Long dong dawn. The adventure starts. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Helps me with the algorithm. As always, guys, thank you. Till next time. Take it easy, guys.